Hi guys, it's David here. Uh, today we're gonna do what we're gonna do is we're just gonna continue on this dribble tutorial. Last week we did the um, floating menu here outside. Uh, today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the mobile menu. So let me show it to you guys. So when it's in mobile, we have this hamburger uh, icon here. So when you click it, it's gonna show the mobile menu. And if you if you notice, some mobile menus sometimes they just have like a limited width on what they're using. But on Dribble, they're using the whole screen to show the menu. So click the hamburger menu, and when you click, it's just expand the whole window, right? So that's what we're gonna do today. Uh, Okay, let's start. So here, this is the one we did yesterday. So what, I mean, not yesterday, but uh, last week. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to refresh this page. So copy. So basically, we're just making a new copy of this page, and we're going to call it mobile. So what we're going to do is, I think the easiest way to do this so we don't have to retype all this stuff, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this and reformat it from there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy, right-click copy, click outside here, and just go paste. So now we have two menu here, but you cannot see it because they're on top of each other. So if you can see here on the element three here. This is the one we had, the original. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take this thing off. I mean, turn it off so we don't see it. And I'm gonna turn on the one we just copied. So if you can see, header nav copy. I'm just gonna rename this to mobile. So we have a main header for our mobile and a mobile menu for our mo for whatever the mobile menu is. Okay, so I'm I named this thing as mobile menu. So here we know that when it's in mobile, our header is we have the hamburger here, the dribble uh, logo, and the sign in. We don't have all this other stuff here. So first, before I delete some of them, I'm going to expand this. What, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all this stuff and paste it. So what we do is copy. So there's two copies. Delete everything here and let me show it to you. But so copy then paste. Actually, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> uh, this group right here, the one inside, right? Not the, not the floating, the, the one inside the floating. So I'm going to copy that. And, and I'm going to click inside this floating and paste it in there. So now there's two of them. This floating here is set up as column because on the main menu before we had the left side menu and the right side menu. So what will I do is I'm going to change this to column. So they're going to be on top of each other. So now they're on top of each other. And let's clean this thing up. Let's put some space here for now while we're just working on this page. So we know that the, the top menu is 100 uh, pixel here. Let me show it to you guys. I'm going to turn off the mobile and turn on the desktop. This is the one I'm talking about. The, the main menu here is 100 height, 100 pixel height, right? So that's what we're going to mimic. We're going to have the hamburger, 
the logo and the sign in. So I'm going to turn this thing off, turn back on the mobile. We know that we have an icon here that's hidden because of the condition, but now that's we're doing the mobile, we're already on the 960 uh, width. So I'm going to take this thing off because we all this condition is from the old one. And I want this to, to be vis visible on page load. And I want this. So before we have to change some, the margin to 20, but since already we're using this for mobile, now we're just going to go straight to 20 margin. Before I delete this stuff, I want to make this group 100. And I want the dribble and the sign in only. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull this thing out and uh, drag it outside this group. Same with this one. I'm going to pull it out and drag it outside the group. So now I can just delete this group here because we don't need them in this group. So now we know that this one, there's a condition here. And I'm just going to make this sign in. So that's our menu or the header menu for the mobile. So let's clean the sub menu. We don't need this. So there's two groups here. Let me expand this. So this whole group here, so we have enough space to work with and we can just change that later. So we know that we, there's two group here, the left menu that's holding this and the, I mean the, the right menu that's holding this and the left menu that's holding this stuff. And also we don't want this anymore, right? Because we already have it on top. And we don't want this. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull all this outside that group because we don't need that group anymore. I'm doing, I'm just clicking and dragging them outside that group. And I don't want that logo group anymore in the left group. So I'm going to right click here and delete. So right now they're arranged as column. Now I'm in the row. Now we can change this group alignment or container layout to column. So they're going to be on top of each other. Okay. And for this group right here, we have a condition here before. We can take that out and make it as 20. So I'm going to call this group container header. Header container mobile. If I can spell and header container menu mobile. Okay. So now we know we have this. And we can add this arrow here. What I will do is I'm going to go to awesome font, awesome icon. And I want an icon arrow. Arrow. So let's find, let's see if we can find that specific arrow. Yeah. 
five arrow. Yeah. This one right here and this one right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this. Copy. No, actually, let's, let me do this one first. I'm going to add spaces here first for now. 20. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it. So now I have two. I'm going to make this as the carrot arrow. So I'm going to copy this. Paste it here. I just want the name. And I'm going to put FA and close it. So now we have that carrot arrow. Maybe I can change this. I'm going to remove this and make it 16 just to make it a little bit bigger. And I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to group this. As row. And I want this group to expand all the way. No minimum. And I want to have space in between. Want this to not fix the content. So it's gonna push push it all the way. Okay. <clears throat> No minimum here. So now we have this group. I made this 16 and this is 14. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to expand this all the way from top to bottom. Okay, so, so that's our first menu. Let's see if we can view this. That's our main menu. So this mobile menu, we don't want it to load on page, not visible on page load, but we want this actually to be X when we have this menu on. So let me change this icon first to uh, close. So like here, right? First, it's going to show like this. And when you click it, the other one, the other menu is going to show up. So here, I want it. So let me hide this one first and turn on the old one. So I want that hamburger here on the main menu to trigger and show that menu that we just created. So let me see. So I'm going to start a a workflow. So when this thing is clicked, I want to show nav mobile okay so let me see so when we click this 
actually this is the dribble tool this is the one, not the one we copied that's why it's not working uh let me preview this Okay, this one is showing on page load, so we we need to hide that on page load. So the header nab here, we don't want it on page load because we want to trigger it when the menus click. So here, we're on desktop, that's fine. Then we go to mobile. So when we click this, the menu should show up, right? And it's not. <laughs> okay, let's try to troubleshoot this. This is the nav floating. Let me see if we're showing the floating itself here. I said hide, not show. See, that's a mistake again. So what I what I did is hide instead of showing. So let's go show the floating. Okay, let's try that again. So now we have the the desktop. We go to the mobile. When we click this, the stop showing. Okay, good. And when we click this, it should hide this. So let's create that too. So when we click this, start a menu, hide. So let's do the functionality first, then we can add the other menu. So now we click here. It's going to show the menu. Of course, we don't have it. We don't have this thing yet. And then click, close. Click. That's our main menu. Okay. Now that we know that that part is working, now we can redesign this. It's weird that this stuff are not showing though. So is there any condition here why it's not, this thing is not showing? This group. Okay. Page load, I don't want it to be hidden. Page load, I don't want it to be hidden. Let's try that again. Hmm. This container inside this container is visible. I don't want this to collapse. This is weird. Why this text is not showing? There's a condition. That's it. That's why it's not showing. We forgot to delete this condition. Because remember, this, we're now on the six. I mean, 960. And it says here, do not show this text when this condition is met. So let's delete that for all of them. This is good. We're troubleshooting. And same here, because I copied all this text, right? So all this stuff have those conditions, that's why. Now it should it should show up. Boom, it's right there. 
So now we can just copy this uh, icon and put it on this stuff. So I'm going to copy this. I mean, the easiest way here, I think, is copy this group, inspiration group, with the inspiration, inspiration. Inspire. Inspiration Mobile, because we want to differentiate this from the Inspiration uh, desktop. So, let's see. Let me add a space here a little bit so we can just grab them like this, maybe 60 for now. So I can grab this, not, not the text, but the group itself. So that's the text. Okay, let me configure this text to be fix height for now. Okay. So I can just grab this group, right? This group, this two stuff here is in this group. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna copy, paste. So we don't have to recreate this stuff right here. So we need two, four, five. Control C, Control V, Control V. No, control C, control V. Two, we need two, two more. So this is, because I'm lazy to type, <laughs> copy, paste, delete this. Copy, paste. Delete this. Copy. Paste. Delete this. Copy. Paste. Delete this. Copy. Paste. Now we can delete this. Now we just have to rename this group. Because that's inspiration. Now we can name this. Fine work. This group. Learn. Now you guys can see why I don't like typing. I don't know how to spell. Why do we have two GoPro here? <laughs> Find work, learn design, GoPro, marketplace is the other one. So one word. Yeah. Marketplace. Okay, let's rename this. GoPro, I'm renaming the group here, right? Marketplace, and the last one. Hire designers. So now, we can change this. We can take off the minute. Okay, hold on. 50. I want to change the group height first to zero. So it's, there's no extra spaces. It's, it's all going to be tight spacing. Zero, zero. 
zero, zero. Oops, I dragged something there. Zero. And I know I changed the height max here, so I'm just going to take that thing off too. I know it's not going to affect something, but it's just my OC is kicking in. Zero, zero, zero. Okay. So now we can make this zero. So we don't have extra spaces. And now, actually, we want this floating group to be not just on the left top, I mean top and left. We want it to expand the whole bottom, top to bottom. Okay, so it's going to occupy the whole screen. So now let's see. So that's our desktop. That's our mobile. And when we click, we have this menu. And when we click outside, it's going to expand. So now I'm going to show you guys one example here, like this thing expanding. Because it's the same application on this one, right? So you guys can practice on this side here. So let's do. I'm just going to do lorem here. Lorem 1, lorem 2, lorem 3, okay. So let's go back here. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to copy this, copy, and paste. Not there. Okay, we need to expand that again so we can play with it. <laughs> we need that space to play with. So now I'm going to copy this group, the inspiration group, copy, and paste it here. It's going to be on the last, but we're just going to move it on top anyway. So now, okay, that's good. It just went there on the bottom here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the first one, and the second one, click. Okay, let me see if I can put a minimum space here of 80. Not the text, but the group, okay. 80, and the text is going to be maximum 60. So we can just grab that group. So I'm grabbing the second one and I'm grabbing the first one by pressing shift, then right click it, then group it by column. So now they're on the same group. This is the sub menu, so we don't need this. And as you can see here, they push this thing a little bit inside here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to call this lorem. Lor lorem 1. How many do I have? 2, 4, 5. Control C, Control V, Control C, Control V, Control C, Control V, Control C, Control V. So they're all in that the same group, this group right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to column. So they're going to be on top of each other. And then I want the lorem group. push a little bit here, so I'm going to put a margin there of maybe 60 on the left side. 
not too much. 60, and I'm going to put spaces in between 20. Let's see it first if that's going to work. So it's right there. But there's like a big space here, but we don't want that. Let's fix that. Zero. That group is supposed to be zero. We want this group this whole group that's holding the inspiration and the lorem lorem one two three group to have a space of like 20. maybe between lorem we just want 10. Hmm. maybe 20 is it 20? I'm going to make this 20 and maybe this stuff right here 30 because they're, they're like in the mobile, so they need more space. 30. Okay. So now we have this. We have this group, and let me see if we can put that line there. Okay. Appearance, I'm going to make, I want a border, individual border, and I want it on the left side. Top left. I don't want border, but I want shut. Outset. Zero, zero, zero. Negative one. Not ver no, let's do vertical, I'm sorry. Vertical negative one, because negative one here on the left, positive on the right. Let's see if that's going to work. Okay, I'm wrong. <laughs> it's, so, it's supposed to be horizontal. Horizontal negative. So you just do trial and error, right, when you're doing this. So here, it's touching this. So what we're going to do is to push this text, instead of using margin, we're going to do padding. So the line is still on the end of the side here. So... We use margin here, we're going to put zero, and we put padding on the left of 40. Now that line is there. I mean, you can change the, the thickness, like uh, maybe you can play with the color, right? This one, I'm just going to put 10%. Black, 10%. Okay, so now that thing is in the group, this one is in the group. Now let's do, let's see how are we going to, when we click this, this thing's going to show, and when we click out, it's going to hide. Okay. Why this thing is not showing? Why is it not there? Page load, no condition. Hmm, that's weird.
You don't want any space. Okay, let's refresh this. It's showing here, but it's not there. Okay, let's troubleshoot. If I make this maximum with 500. Just to see it's not pushing it there. No, it's not. Appearance. Let's make it black. It's not supposed to be. I'm going to try to copy one here. And on this group, I'm going to paste one. And I'm going to delete the old one. That's weird. Fit win. Okay. content, with content. It's weird. So I'm going to make this fix 2020. And I'm going to make this in the middle. Let's see if that's going to work. It's not. Maximum 20, 20, maximum 20. I'm going to make this thing. Twenty four, twenty four. Oh, okay, minimum. So I guess the minimum here was, so basically it's expanding that group outside. So let's take this thing off the minimum. And now that should fix it. We can take this thing out. But content. That should fix it because I know it's pushing whatever the group here outside. See, now it's fixed. 
So that was weird. But anyway, so this group, let's make this normal. Uh, I'm just making it really, the spacing really tight, right? We don't want extra spaces. So here, okay, now let's do this functionality. So when you click this, this thing's going to show. So now we want this group to not show on page load. What do we call this group? Inspiration. Submenu. So I'm going to copy this. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hide this on page load and collapse. So it doesn't take any space. And so let's see. So it, there's a group there that's not collapsing. So this group, it's not collapsing when it's hidden. Collapse on hidden, but there's two group here. Okay, menu. We add a, okay, we, we put a minimum of 180, that's why it's not showing there. But anyway, once you turn this thing on, it should show. So I hope I'm making sense. So now it's it's not showing. So to trigger that, we need to click this and then it's going to show that, okay? So now let's create that. Uh, experience, let me see. So they're not just clicking here, they're clicking on the whole line here to show. So to do that, we're going to grab this whole group here, which is this group, and we're going to put that workflow on that group. So what I'm going to do is show or toggle. Toggle means if it's hidden, show it, and if it's showing, hide it. Okay, so it's like an on and off button instead of just hiding it. So we put a toggle on this group, so now let's try. So we go to the menu, toggle, Okay, but we want this to change when this thing is showing. So that's just an easy fix. Let's go get the opposite of this, which is angle up. I'm going to copy this. And I'm just going to put a condition here saying if, if this group is visible, if this group is visible, is visible, then text can go up, it says up instead of down, let's just do, type that, up. And one thing I noticed, this stuff are bold. So instead of changing your style, one thing I usually do is I just go here and make it bold. So you only have one style for body, for example. And if you want to center it, you can just center it through here and bold it through here. Because when we, when I was starting, I was like, I should have one on the left, body left, body right, body bold, body 
whatever. Now you only have one body and you just change it on this side. Bold. Last one. Okay. Let's see if this thing works. And I think that's it for today. Then you guys can practice on the other side, right? So make sure you group this stuff right here when you're creating. Don't forget that. And on this part, you, you're triggering the toggle of this group on the group that's holding these two, the text and the arrow here, not on just this. Because if you can see here, they're not only clicking on this bar right here, but you can click anywhere on this line and it's going to show. So let's do that. If it's going to work, then I think we're done for today. So we click it. It's bold. And when we click here, it's changing that. Click here, hiding. Okay. And you can just repeat it on, on the other stuff. I think that's it for today, guys. Thanks again. Uh, I'm going to put this tutorial to our playlist. Please subscribe if you guys are haven't subscribed. Uh, we're creating a community. I'm, I'm just a beginner, too, on Bubble, uh, trying to, you know, teach, actually. Do tutorials so I can do this and learning at the same time. Okay? Thanks, guys.